from the station that's working for you. You're watching Fox 4 News at noon. After a year of waiting, a veteran in need may finally realize his dream of home ownership. Habitat for Humanity has started construction on his new home. Let's get to John Pepitone live in Blue Springs. This has to be exciting, John, to see this. Yeah, it is exciting, particularly after the last year or so, Mark, when Habitat had to suspend many of its home building operations because of COVID-19. This lot behind me has been vacant. There once was a home here. It apparently suffered some fire damage and was torn down. Heartland or, or Heritage Habitat for Humanity was able to purchase this property, and they found a veteran in need. Uh, who lived with his nine-year-old daughter, needed to, uh, a place of his own. He's been waiting for the last year until this moment when they broke ground, ground on this site this morning to begin constructing him uh, a new home. So how do veterans become eligible for this Habitat program? Well, it's interesting. The uh, director, the president of Habitat for Humanity here, the Heartland chapter, or I'm sorry, the Heritage chapter, says they actually have a hard time finding veterans in need who oh. want to be part of this program. A lot of veterans simply don't reach out for this type of help, but they do have to vet them. Fortunately, they uh, learned of this uh, hockey organization, KC Warriors, and there were a couple of players in that group who could use this sort of assistance, and that's what they're trying to do, build some homes for veterans in need in the coming year. Speaking of assistance, I know they can always use this nonprofit uh, financial assistance because the price of lumber has uh. gone through the roof, and that's no joke. Yeah, I mean, it's a valuable commodity. This project was actually budded, budgeted based on last year's prices. So there, there is a shortfall that Habitat says it's making up through community donations. The president telling me the price of lumber soaring 180% wow. higher than at the same time a year ago. Overall, building materials as a whole, 30% higher, uh, raising a project's cost significantly. And when you talk about a non profit trying to build homes. That's a huge impact. John, good job. Thanks. Well, in Overland Park, work is going on today in a veteran's house. The goal is to give him a new roof. Marcus Officer has his story. Surprises are always a good thing. And the fact that Zeke actually driving home, we were doing live shots outside your house earlier this morning. You come around the corner and you see guys on your roof. Walk us through the surprise going through your head and when you realize what was going on. You know, uh, Garen reached out to me, you know, a month or so ago and we talked about, hey, because Zeke can, you know, can you find a veteran for a house, things like, or a roof, things like that. And so uh, I thought I was helping find, you know, look for another veteran to, to make this happen. And so uh, I had an idea we were going to meet today to talk. Uh, but not on this, not to this extent. So uh, to find out I'm getting a new roof and have everybody here, uh, I'm grateful. Like, you know, I've said this quite a few different times, but I'm blessed with an opportunity to even have a house, you know. So uh, I, I'm good at helping other people and extending that, you know, to other people and other veterans, especially first responders, things like that. So uh, to have somebody else that's, that's wanting to help me out in, in the same aspect, you know, that I'm extremely grateful for that, you know. And Garen, you talked a little bit earlier about Zeke's story and how it stood out to you. How can that story help motivate others to continue to push forward and be yeah. successful? It, it's, the, it's the mindset. And, you know, Zeke was been through a, a terrible accident, and yet he was able to, to use that and, and motivate him and, and makes these beautiful art, and, and, and he gives back to veterans and, and first responders. And so when I seen that, and I'm like, you know, that's the spirit. That's what we, you know, we look for when we're giving a, a roof away to a veteran. And so, you know, we are looking for veterans because because even like when we you know, told Zeke, he, we're getting you a roof, he's like, oh, Garen, there's probably someone more deserving than I am. I go, I know, Zeke, but uh, you deserve a roof, and, and you're getting a roof, pal, and so we're getting a roof put on there. So we're always looking for good veterans, but the story with Zeke is so powerful and how he just continues to pay it forward, and, and that's really what stood out to me. And I, I just had a heart transplant five months ago, and so I, I seen his pictures of him healing and going through that process, and it really just related. I struck, he struck a chord with me, and, you know, and so. So I was like, man, this is, this is it. This is the one. So that's that's it. And so here we are today putting a roof on for him. And I, I couldn't think of anybody more better, you know, better deserving than, than Zeke. So I really appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. There you go. Anything else about the work being done? I mean, by the time you go to bed tonight, this work should be completed. Yeah, I just, you know, for the neighbors that are watching this, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry if this is a, you know, 
you know, a, a problem, a struggle. That's a, that's the first thing I thought of when I turned the corner was, man, my neighbors. So I, I think about other people at all times. And so, uh, but I can't, I can't say it enough. You know, I'm grateful for this. Thank you. Well, I'll say it for you. Don't apologize to them, man. You are it. Congratulations. Garen, thank you so very yeah, much, man. Thank you. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Great story, Marcus.